in a certain factory turning out blades there is 0.2% probability for any blade to be defective blades are supplied in packs of 10 using poisson distribution calculate the approximate number of packets containing no defective one two or three defective blades respectively in a consignment of 20000 packets so probability of any blade being defective is 0.2% number of blades in a pack 10 and number of such packets 20000 we require to calculate approximate number of packets with 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 defective blades we know that approximate number means total number of packs into respective probability so for that purpose first we require to find the probability of particular number of defective blades in a pack and then we can calculate the number of packets but the information is probability of defective 0.2% and number of blades in a pack 10 that is something like a case of binomial distribution but <coughs> p is very small if we want to use binomial distribution p is very small 0.2% that means 0.2 divided by 100 that means 0 0.002 so we cannot use binomial distribution because say P probability of success is almost next to zero so we cannot use binomial distribution then let us go for Poisson distribution mean equals to NP and that is 10 into 0.2 percent that means 0 0.02 see after multiplying by 10 the mean is still very small as 0 0.02 e raised to minus mean comes to e raised to minus 0 0.02 and value of e raised to minus 0 0.02 is 0 0.9802 First, find out probability of no defective. That means P of 0. P of 0 means E raised to minus mean into mean raised to lambda <coughs> upon lambda raised to 0 upon 0 factorial. That means ultimately it is E raised to minus mean, that is E raised to minus 0 0.02 that means 0 0.9802 now we can calculate the number of packets with no defective blend equals to total number of packets into probability of no defective blend that means 20,000 into 0 0.9802 it is 19,804 19,604 right 19,604 that means out of 20,000 we can expect that in 19,604 packets containing 10 blades each there is no defective blade number 2 probability of one defective blade that means p of 1 p of 1 equals to e raised to minus mean into mean raised to 1 upon 1 factorial that means 0 0.9802 into 0 0.02 divided by 1 factorial means 1 so ultimately it is 
0.9802 into 0 0.02. What is it? Point zero one nine six zero four. Point zero one nine six zero four. Six zero four. Four. Okay. Now again we want to calculate the number of packets with one defective blend. That means total number of packets twenty thousand into probability of one defective blend. 20,000 into 0 0.019604. 39.208. Only 39.208. No, it can be 392. 392. Approximately 392 packets out of 20,000 can have one defective blend. Now the third case is probability of two defective blends. P of 2. And P of 2 means E raised to minus mean into mean raised to 2 upon 2 factorial. 0 0.9802 into 0 0.02 raised to 2. 0 0.02 that means 2 by 100 into 2 by 100. So 4 by 10,000. 0 0.0004. 4. 4. Divided by 2 factorial means 2. So probability of 2 defective blads is So, number of packets with two defective blades. equals to total number of blades into probability of two defective blades. That means total number of packets I mean 20,000 into 0 0.00019604 so it comes to approximately approximately 4 it is 3.92 yes. it is actually 3.92 so the rounding off can be 4 only 4 packets we can expect out of 20,000 having two defective blasts and the last it might be zero after mm -hmm. multiplying by 20,000 mm -hmm. probability of three defective blasts yes p of three equals to e raised to minus mean into mean raised to three divided by three factorial 0 0.9802 into 0 0.02 in, into 0 0.02 into 0 0.02 so it is 8 by 1 million Zero point and then 8 yes and 3 factorial is 6 0.000013 So even after multiplying by 20,000 we have no answer <laughs> Number of packets with 3 defective blades <coughs> That is total number of packets into probability of 3 defective blood. That is 20,000 into this very strange answer. <laughs> so, it approximately is 0. 
so we cannot expect any number of packets with or having three defective blades. The theme is if we want to find out expected number or approximate number of any particular event, we have to use this logic. Total number of say in this case packets into respective probability. Through this we can find out expected frequency. These numbers 19604, 392, 40, these are actually frequencies. In case of chi-square test, we can also calculate the expected frequencies through Poisson distribution. Okay, thank you.